Hey guys, Alistair Michaels here, and after my redo of a healer review, I decided to watch the anime, and after seeing the anime, I noticed that there were quite a lot of differences between the anime and the manga. Anyways, I'm really excited about this, I hope you are too, and I hope you enjoy the video. The anime version of it that I saw opens up with what the healer does to Freya when he first takes his revenge on her at the castle. The manga opens with the healer's introduction to Freya as she picks him up from the village and then quickly jumps to the healer being abused by Freya and her commenting on how he is a disgusting dog and why she views him that way. The manga then foreshadows all of episode 1 and 2 of the anime. When the star spirit is first introduced in the anime, she resembles a little girl more than a grown woman and has gold accessories around her neck and arms with pointy shoes and wings. In the manga, the star spirit calls herself the spirit of the stars and resembles a much older woman with no gold accessories, no wings, and no shoes. The Star Spirit is introduced before the Demon Queen slash past life flashback in the anime and is seen giving the healer a kiss on his eye to grant him his status abilities. In the manga, the Star Spirit is introduced after the Demon Queen slash past life flashback and is not shown giving the healer a kiss on the eye to grant him his status abilities. Episode 1 introduces us to the Demon Queen about 5 minutes in. She has white hair, horns, black wings, and a weird dress slash armor. In the manga, we first meet the Demon Queen in chapter 1.1 and we are led to believe that it is a giant, monster looking, classic devil demon king. In the anime, the Demon Queen takes a different form to power herself up and looks like a giant armored blackbird thingy in a white dress, and that form is defeated by the healer. In the manga, the Demon King is revealed to be the Demon Queen after her giant classic devil-looking form is quickly and easily defeated by the healer hero. In episode 1, during the Demon Queen flashback, the healer is wearing a hooded green robe over his clothes and a slave collar and is shown to be standing around making noises to himself. In the manga, specifically manga chapter 1.1, the healer is not wearing a hooded robe and is wandering around like some sort of possessed ghoul. When the world's time is reversed and healed in the anime, the anime adds an extra detail to the world being healed and reversed four years. The frame added is the earth being covered in rays of light. In the manga, when the world is reversed and healed, only a light shooting off the earth is shown as chapter 1.2 ends. In the anime, lingerie was added and the maid wears lingerie underneath her maid attire and looks more older and mature with a tiny bit of hair that forms a curl on the top of her head. In the manga, the maid looks to be a bit younger with no lingerie under her clothes. In the anime, Kyuriha is introduced as the great swordsman and she doesn't have armor and wears to what looks to be regular clothes for that era. In the manga, Kiriha is introduced as the Blade Goddess and is wearing armor. In the anime, Kiriha kneels and is healed by the healer who places his hand on her back and wills her a new arm into existence, and after the healer is done healing Kiriha, he passes out from the pain. In the manga, Kiriha rips off her shirt and is healed by the healer from a short distance away. Healing Kyuriha takes its toll on the healer who then bleeds from his eyes and mouth at the strain of bearing all the pain to will Kyuriha a new harm into existence. The healer then passes out successfully after healing Kyuriha. The alchemist that works for Freya has a different appearance from that of the one in the manga and sports a vertigris hair color and a long goatee with white and gold robes. In the manga, the alchemist sports a monocle, full beard, 
dark robe, and is assumed to have white hair. So, those are the differences that I found between the anime and the manga. Let me know if you've spotted any differences too in the comments below, and I will probably be coming out with another video to this one for episode two of the redo of a healer anime, because all these details, they were just for episode one. So I'm really excited to get a series started on this. And I want to say thank you for a moment for all the people that did like, subscribe, and just honestly gave me positive feedback for uh, the review that I did for Redo of a Healer. And I just want to say, I appreciate you guys. <laughs> like, seriously. I really do. Thank you.